Hey guys, it's Mike. My turtle pen that I built earlier this year is still doing great. But my little turtles, my ornate box turtles, are going into hibernation. They're probably about 90% there, so it's time to make some changes to their pen. First you see in the middle is my Riptosign 10.0 uh, UVB bulb. I'll go ahead and change that out. You only want to keep that in the pen probably about six months because the coating on the bulb, it wears out after a while and they're not going to get the full UVB that they really need. And you can see I've been using, in kind of the center there of the shot, is their little swimming pool. That's where they drink out of, they wade out of, they swim, and they love to go to the bathroom in there. That's pretty much the only place they go to the bathroom. So I am going to build a much bigger one with better filtration. I'm going to, it's going to pretty much take up the whole back of the pin and then I'm going to move my ZooMed Habitat heater and my overhead heat to probably the center of the pin and then I'm going to replace the carpet. It's just hallway carpet from Home Depot. It's about $2.70 a foot. So it's not too expensive, probably about twenty something dollars to swap it out. So let's go ahead and make some changes and take a look. Alright, this shot of my carpet that's in there. Just rolled right out. I had to trim the edge a little bit. And you can see first their little home. And then you can see their food dish and then a little camouflage box. I use that, it's a motion sensor uh, camera. So I can keep an eye when they're coming in and out of the box. In the center I have moved their heater and their overhead heat. I changed their ZooMed 10.0 uh, bulb. And you can see the far left is where the new waiting pool is going to go. And then a shot of their old one, which is much smaller. Hey, what's up guys? This is Laverne and Shirley's new deluxe waiting pool. Now, last year, their little waiting pool, they spent a lot of time in it. I mean, half an hour, an hour, just cruising around. So I wanted to build something really nice because they drink out of it, they wade around in it, they also go to the bathroom in it. So I wanted something with more filtration, more water circulating. So I came up with this. This is a 90 quart tub and I cut a little notch, put my little ramp, just, just an upside down shelf from Home Depot. You can see the shelf that sits within it. This is where I can adjust the um, platform that they walk on. So it's gonna be all water down below, and then I'll have water maybe inch and a half to two inches above the ramp. That way they can, you know, wait around in safety. I have a 50 watt heater to heat the water. Um, I'll give you a shot on the inside in a second. I have this beast, Blueville 306. This is actually meant for about 75 gallons of water. But, you know, when they're drinking the same water that they're going to the bathroom in, you know, you want it to be clean. And the other pool was so shallow, you know, if they did their business, it was still floating around, you know. I want something clean. I want to really take care of them. So let me give you a shot of the inside and tell you a little bit more about it. Here's a shot of it you can see outside of the tub. It's just a simple shelving unit from a kitchen store. And I'm going to put links to just about everything in the description box if you want to check it out for yourself. But I just zip tied the Zilla ramp to the side. I zip tied the heater. And then down underneath you can see kind of uh, the string that's for a water temperature gauge above the monitor of the water. So let me give you a shot and you can see I'll put it all back together. I'll put it in the pin. You can see exactly how it's going to go. All right, here's a shot of the new waiting pole in the pin. You can see how much larger it is than the old one. The old one just wasn't functional for what they like to do. They love spending so much time in it. So the new one, um, it's not officially hooked up. I'm going to hook it up next year when they get out of hibernation. So they're going to have a wonderful little pole to wait around when it's nice and warm. And it's going to be very functional. It's going to be a lot of fun for them. And it was a great project. And I'm going to put all kinds of links down in the description if you want to check anything out. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. You guys take care.